So Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I want to talk about if coronavirus is man-made or Allah sent or God sent, uh, if it's divinely sent or if it's man-made. Now, and at the same time, I will be talking about the fiqh of conspiracy theories. How do we understand what is conspiracy theories from a Quranic perspective? How do we understand conspiracy theories from a Quranic perspective, from a Sunnah perspective? Okay, so. I'm going to talk very fast, inshallah ta'ala, but I want to get over a number of points, okay? So now, uh, if you're able, I'm not going to show that much proofs today, uh, but what I am going to do is go over a, a lot of points and you can start coming, uh, commenting about that. Now, these are all different points. They're general points and specific points, and when you add them together, then you'll be able to see why coronavirus is man-made I will show you today from a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ and a verse of Surah Al-Kahf. When you put it together, you will see that the coronavirus is man-made. Okay, the first is the first rule is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah Al-Kahf, very very important, and this is one of the big problems that I see with our youth, and that is Rajman bil ghaib. Throwing darts in the unseen. You're just guessing. You really don't have proof. I'll give you an example of, of three. Let's take three examples. 9-11. 9-11 was not done the way it was shown to be done. It's pretty clear because it, it doesn't fit. The story doesn't fit with the facts. Now, I'm not going to give a dissertation right now about why it doesn't fit the facts, but it doesn't fit the facts, okay? You can't have a plane hit a building and then it just comes down like... Uh, Tumbling down as if, you know, there was a bomb attached uh, to, to the entire building coming down like that. It doesn't work. But on the other hand, you have some Muslim brothers that talk about the flat earth. Now, if the earth was flat, okay, if the earth is flat, like this is flat, and the sun is here, and the moon is here, where would dark at night be, right? If, if the sun is even going around this, and then the moon is going around this, it would be all sun. It would be all sunny side it would only become so so there is points you have to consider which will make this clear so remember this flat earth uh idea okay then let's take coronavirus for example uh does not allah punish people with plagues yes he does that's from the quran and the sunnah so generally speaking it's it, it is from the ways allah has mentioned he punishes the people this is how one of the ways that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished the people of fir'aun However, however, now, so the first rule, first rule is Rajman bil ghaib. Don't just, just say la adri. I don't know. Maybe. Allahu a'lam. Allahu a'lam. Allah knows best. We don't know. There's so many things. There's more we don't know than we know. And we don't have to know. Because what we have to know is what we are responsible for on the day of judgment. Okay. Just giving conspiracy theories gives us a sense of control and, and a feeling we understand and so on and so forth. But. At the same time, conspiracy theories do come true. Conspiracy theories do come through true. And there are hundreds of books on this issue. Something that was a conspiracy theory and then it came true. So the, that's the first point. Okay, now let's go back to uh, the second point is the hadith. La, uh, uh, okay, now. Why do I say coronavirus? Uh, corona. Now, there are two things we're looking at, okay? So, this will make it a little bit easier for everyone to understand. There are two things we are looking at. The first thing we're looking at is fiqh al waqir. Fiqh al waqir is the fiqh of understanding the reality of the situation around us. And I'm just going to give you the summary and explain it at another time. But the economy was about to fall. The economy was about to fall. And then they needed some way to deal with the falling economy. I mean, I mean, literally, if you look at the, the way that the, the debt had become inverted, which I don't have time to explain right now, but the best way I will explain it is, you know, if a plane is going, as long as the bottom is here and the top is here, the plane can go, it, it can deal. But, but as soon as the plane reaches this, this way, right? There, it's just free fall. It is just free fall. It is just going to be free fall. So there was no better timing than to come out with, with this uh, 
uh, coronavirus and then blame for everything that happens bad in the economy from here on out because we already know that the global economy was going to slow down. And so now here comes this coronavirus to kind of like, uh, you know, that you could put all the blame on this virus, okay? And uh, and then, uh, so that that's one aspect. But then why do I think that this is man-made? I, I can give you many many reasons of the fiqh al of the of the of the of the situation that we live in right but i want to actually give you an understanding of this from a sayings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the prophet has mentioned okay and let me just show that to you very uh quickly and i'm only going to talk about the uh the the english version this is two ahadith Okay, Imam Bukhari puts this in the book of Hajj. Two sayings of the Prophet put together. And it's not by mistake, he put these two sayings of the Prophet together. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, he said, the people will continue performing Hajj and Umrah to the Kaaba even after the appearance of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Okay, so even after the appearance of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, the, uh, they will, uh, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like, you will continue to do Umrah and Hajj even after the appearance of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And then what does the Prophet ﷺ follow this by? The Prophet said ﷺ, The hour will not come until there comes a time that you will not do, uh, you will not do Hajj to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And uh, in another narration of the hadith, which I will bring up inshallah next time. Uh, uh, so, uh, why bring these two things of the Prophet together? Okay, let me explain to you this, this how, how Imam Bukhari has done this. Yeah, Juj and Ma'juj will be there when Hajj and Umrah is being done. And the Prophet then says, the Hajj, the hour will not come till Hajj is stopped. What is the... The, the explanation Qur'an gives us of Ya'juj and Ma'juj in Surah Al-Kahf, which is the Surah of End Times. Inna Ya'juj wal Ma'juj la mufsiduna fil ard. Indeed, Ya'juj and Ma'juj will cause corruption in the world. And so Ya'juj and Ma'juj will be there when Hajj and Umrah is being done. But then, because this is what they do. Ya'juj wal ma'juj la mufsiduna fil ard. They cause corruption in the world. And so what will happen as a result of that is that Hajj will be stopped. <coughs> and this is the facade and the corruption. This is part of that corruption. This is why I say when you look at fiqh of the conspiracy, the, the, the fiqh of uh, you know, conspiracy theories, when you understand conspiracy theories from an Islamic perspective, and you look at this hadith, it said, well, yes, Allah does punish people by plague. And by the way, Allah does punish people by plague. Because you can release it, but after you release it, you don't have control of it. And if you don't have control of it, then it's going to, you know, this is uh, one of the very interesting classes I had uh, when I was young, was a class called Science, Society, and Science. And one of the books we had to study was Jurassic Park. It's a very famous novel. But the idea that, you know what the underlining point of that book is? Jurassic Park, if you play with nature, you don't know what it will do. And this is exactly what's happening. That they, they are testing something, but they don't know what the result, you know, they, they, can, they can throw this out, this virus out, but you don't know, what the, you don't know where it'll go. It's not in your control. Then after that, it does what it does. And it's not in your control. Okay. Now, having said that, let's look at a few other points I have here when it comes to conspiracy theories. Okay. Uh, the hadith of La uh, Taqumut. Uh, I talked about hiding the truth. Now, one of the things the Quran talks about over and over again, I think, in fact, probably in the most profound way the Qur'an talks about when it comes to conspiracy theories, somebody having a plot to hurt others, one of the biggest ones is they hide the truth. Uh, uh, they hide the truth and they don't want to let other people know the truth. 
meaning they hide information and truth from other people. So this is a big part of it. You know, you change the narrative, you spin the story to show Muslims are bad or that Muslims are terrorists when they're not. This is like a big They want to extinguish the light of Allah from their mouths, but Allah will complete His light no matter how much the disbelievers dislike this. Okay? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also tells us, so a big part of it is they want to hide the truth. Right? Uh, and then uh, mix uh, and then they want to mix the truth and falsehood in a way or just to completely hide the truth okay and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, about this that uh, another thing Allah says about this that yes they do plot and plan they plot and Allah plots they make coronavirus then Allah has a plan and then it goes beyond what they were expecting or beyond uh, the results are not what they were really hoping for. And this happens over and over again, right? Another thing that is very, very important to know when it comes to uh, conspiracy theories, okay, is that a plot means a limited people. Now, let's go back to the flat earth theory, right? So if, if the earth was flat, that means too many people are involved. All the pilots in the world are seeing the earth is flat and they're not saying anything. That doesn't make sense. A plot by definition means a limited number of people. You cannot have a conspiracy theory in which you think you know a, a large number of people know about this and they're all staying quiet. That cannot be the case. A plot by definition entails that it is a few people. right? If coronavirus is a plot, then only a few people know about the plot. Okay? Makaru wa makar Allah. Wallahu khayrul makirin. Okay? Then, you know, uh, the Qur'an uses the word Aimmatul Kufr, the leaders of Kufr, right? Aimmatul Kufr. So there are those that are, they are the leaders and they know, right? So uh, then uh, the hearts are divided, okay? So that, this is a very important point also when we're talking about to try, and by the way, the adab is, the adab is, to use the proper manners. I'll give you an example. One day the Prophet was going sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his horse slipped. And what happened? A companion of the Prophet said, May the shayateen be cursed. Okay? And the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that if it would have been better if you just said, Bismillah. Give the power to Allah. Give the power to Allah. Never give power to kufr. Never talk in a way that gives power. It's against the adab. And it's against these, the, the mentality we should have. We never say, oh, the Zionists did this, and the Zionists are this, and the Zionists are that, and the Zionists, you might as well say they're God. They're not God. They have nothing in their control. Everything that they do backfires upon them. If it was up to them, they would have, they would have been ruling the world already. But they can't. They're not even close yet. So what the Prophet said will happen. But to think that they're completely powerful, or to even, even if they're very powerful, to give them that credit is against the adab that the Prophet has given us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Pro Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, this is the next point, قُلُوبُهُمْ تَحْصُبُهُمْ جَمِيعًا You see them as one solid wall. وَقُلُوبُهُمْ shatta. But their hearts are divided. Their hearts, they, no matter if they're going into Iraq, or they're going to Afghanistan, or they're going to do coronavirus, their hearts are never together. You know what Fir'aun did? He ruled people by dividing it. إِنَّهُ عَلَى فِي الْأَرْضِ and he made the people of it divided, all divided. Shaitan rules by dividing. Shaitan rules by dividing, okay? So know that this, you know why there are so many of these secret societies? The, the Bones, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, all these different groups. Why? Because this is how Shaitan gets his way. He keeps them all divided to keep them under control, okay? So, um... The hearts are never give power to them. Okay, types of punishments Allah says uh, sends. Okay, so if we're looking at, for example, punishments, we're looking at the types of punishments Allah sends, and then we're looking at that hadith. Okay, now uh, the jal does act like God. The jal tries to act like God, and and but we should never give anyone the Zionist movement, which is part of this the jali system. The, the whole point is that we would say things about the jal that confer, that make it confirm like he has the power of God. So never, ever, ever do that. Okay? Uh, 
wala nu sadiku wala nu kadiku there are just some things that we don't reject like for example for coronavirus i'm very sure for example very very bismillahir rahmanir rahim so today i have to start a little bit over i might repeat some things that i mentioned uh the day before um so i'm very very sure about coronavirus uh that even if you know uh there there are other things to consider because whenever there's a situation you have to look at the quran for example allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh la tabdila khalq allah there's no changing the creation of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the quran uh um ya ayuhan nas duriba mathalun fastami'u la o mankind an example is given listen to it carefully okay what is it uh in yajtami'u if in if you all come can uh, come together a yakhluqu dhubaban that you all create a b okay this is in the last part of sul hajj a yakhluqu dhubal you can't create even a b okay you can't make it okay neo exhaling i mean you can't make it from nothing to something right so obviously we know that we can uh, create uh, and harness uh, viruses in a laboratory in fact uh, there is a study out there that the the coronavirus is a mutation between um it, you know so, something of viruses in a bat and uh, a snake allahu alam i don't know but i have the uh, the text from somebody from china that says that anyway uh the point i'm trying to make here is that uh whether coronavirus is man made or allah sent it but there's no doubt that once you release it once you release it where it goes is in the hands of allah right they don't they don't remote control uh the coronavirus okay it just goes where it goes and it's so funny because if you look at the news who is this coronavirus this subhanallah subhanallah it doesn't affect kids that much it's like it's like from allah this will not affect kids and it's from a lot that it's affecting so many people that are very famous like trump's daughter now has it the supreme ayatullah they have it and you know the health minister here has it the health minister there has it and you know tom hanks has it and these you know uh, these famous people are getting it which adds to the fear factor of course um but uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting the children right allah is protecting the children so uh so even if they made it they can't control it once it's made and where it goes and how 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 it happens uh Over here I want to show you again if I did this last time or not but Beijing knows who to blame for the virus America okay but we know who's behind it's not innocent America in a sense you know we know who really is behind it and this is the hadith that I want to emphasize again if I didn't last time an nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam right لا يحجون البيت ويعتمرون بعد الخروج يعجوج ومعجوج. You will continue to do Hajj and Umrah after the coming out of Yajuj and Majuj. And if anybody people and people know who is Yajuj and Majuj, which is a specific variation of Bani Israel, a specific variation of the Yehud, right? Uh, Yajuj and Majuj. So they will come out. They will be out there controlling Jerusalem and trying to make Israel the greater Israel. They will do that, and Muslims will be doing tawaf around the Kaaba. Even though, very interestingly enough, there's another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Very another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet said, the Prophet saw in a dream, the Jal doing tawaf around the Kaaba. Okay, and in another hadith, the Prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I saw in my dream, right. the jal doing tawaf around the kaaba and also isa alayhi salatu wasalam doing tawaf around the kaaba so many of these things the star of david in makkah right now the the triangle that's been put there either to stop the mahdi from coming in or allahu a'lam what what is going on but uh the point here right now that i'm trying to make is and the prophet also said la takumu as-sa'a the hour will not happen hatta yuhajj la yuhajj al-bayt until a time comes where hajj will not be done right and so why did imam bukhari bring say sayyidina al-khudri radiyallahu anhu brought these two right together right and uh uh la takumu as-sa'a the hour will not come until hajj is stopped and the other one says when yajuj and majuj are out hajj and umrah will still be done what does the quran tell us quran tells us inna yajuj wal majuj lamufsiduna fil ardh yajuj and majuj cause corruption in the world 
they cause corruption in the world and they will do something not the us but you know poor us is always used as a as a, a smoke screen by yeah jujin majuj okay yeah jujin majuj does 911 and puts america in the middle and you know does so many things and puts an america in the middle and over here does you know coronavirus and puts america in the middle allahu a'lam right so the hour will not come till the Hajj is stopped and the Prophet said, Ya'juj and Ma'juj that cause fasad will be there while Muslims are doing Hajj and Umrah. So this great fasad of Ya'juj and Ma'juj will, will be done while Ya'juj and Ma'juj are out and Muslims are also doing tawaf and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everything and uh, our du'as will not be heard at that time. Allahu A'lam. Right? So, um, so let me go back to uh, some of the basic stuff that I wanted to uh, discuss. Uh, Beijing knows who to blame. Now, over here, I want to mention. So, I was saying, uh, I also wanted to mention, we don't confirm, we don't deny, right? Those things that are clearly, that have no basis in the text, right? And have no basis in reality. So, for example, in the text, if you ask me about coronavirus in reality, meaning in the world that we, in the fiqh al in the world that we see, I can't prove it. But when you look at the text, there connects the dot. But again, that is still an interpretation. So it's still dhanni. It's still dhanni. It's not qat'i. It's not definite. Right? There's no hadith that says coronavirus will be released by X, Y, Z. No. But, so therefore, but when we connect the dots, we can say, that yes, there is a high possibility. This is a very beautiful thing about Islam. Okay? And that is that when we deal with conspiracy theories or we deal with anything, the Sharia teaches us to deal in terms of possibilities. So, possibility, probability, you know, and then definitely. Right? So, in terms of it's a possibility, it is a probability, it is a definite. 9-11, when you look at the asbab, the world of causes, the fiqh al when you look at the world of causes and you look at 9-11, well, building 7 just gives it away. You know, it just doesn't fit. It just does not fit. Okay, building 7 tells us that it is absolutely qat'i, that there was more behind it besides, you know, this uh, story that was being told about 9-11. Okay. Coronavirus is not like that. It's not at that same level. It's not at the qat'i level. It's not at the definite level. But we have certain assumptions. And when you take this hadith that I just showed you about Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and you also look at the news reports of what China is saying in terms of the U.S. releasing this, it is very. It is a possibility. America has been trying to do containment of China and you know stop the growth of China. And this has been a great way to do a lot of that. Okay? So... This is a high possibility scenario. Never think, see, let me, let me share with you guys something that I was sharing with a brother today. Very, very important. We are, it's not necessary for us to know, but it is necessary for us to observe. Listen to what I'm saying. A lot of times when you say, okay, Sheikh Imran Hussain said this and now he changed his opinion, it's because we are not saying something qat'i. Because that is just not, it's a sign. The very alamatu sa'a, these are signs of the hour. Ilmu zaman has to do with how to look at the signs, okay? And how you read the signs in one time and how you read the signs at another time will be changed based upon your time of observation. Okay, I'm telling you something very, very important. How you see something today and how you see something tomorrow will change based upon, if you're looking from a certain, for, with the nur of Allah, even that information will change, okay, based upon the situation and the time that you're actually looking. It is not necessary for you to know everything 100%. You can't do rajman bil ghaib. You can't know, complete, just based upon complete speculation, just say it has to be this. You have to know, admit, and be say, say Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. But there is, you know, this is qat'i. This is definite. This is factual. There is a building seven, okay? Or it is qat'i. Absolutely, we know this from the world of asbab, that the earth can't be flat. And we know from the text, يُكَوِّرُ اللَّيْلَ عَلَى النَّهَارُ وَيُكَوِّرُ النَّهَارُ عَلَى اللَّيْلِ Right? That the, even the text indicates the earth cannot be flat, okay? Now, there are some things that you will find in the text that are stronger proof 
than what you see in the world of asbab. For example, in the coronavirus, this is the case. The text is not qatari, it's not factual, it's not definite, it's not 100%, but it shows that there's a likelihood. There is a likelihood. Okay, and when you look at the world of asbab, and you look at China blaming the US, and so on and so forth, then you say, okay, there's a possibility, there's a good possibility this is the case. But ultimately, again, the question isn't to know, it is to observe, to observe the signs. Number two, and more important, 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 is not that, you know, to know about all of these external realities, that what's happening behind the scenes. Your job is only to observe, like I said, but the reality is, behind all of that, the real thing is, right? Because shaitan can distract us with this and that, and you know, who did this and who did that? Are you prepared? Are you ready to die? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is all about the day of judgment. يَوْمَ يَقُمُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The day everyone has to stand before Allah. And this is about, are you able to save yourself from the fitan? From the, because it doesn't matter who did it, the fitna is coming. It doesn't matter if, you know, who is making my house on fire, I have to know what to do once the fire, I have to deal with the fire that's in front of me, I have to save myself from the fitna. If there is a flood coming, it doesn't matter who did it, how it happened, the flood is here. Right? So it is, and I'm not saying not to know, but I'm saying more important is the attitude of I'm observing. There's a likelihood of this. There's a high chance. There's, this is factual. Okay? So coronavirus, it is not at that level, that high level of factuality, but it is at the level of because of the text that I showed you and the newspaper article I showed you of what China is blaming the U.S. that there is, you know, Ya'juj and Ma'juj is behind this. Okay? All right. Uh, now, uh, 9-11, I talked about that. Flat Earth, I talked about that. Versus coronavirus, I talked about that. Okay? The other thing to keep in mind is... Uh, bias versus influence, okay? And that is that it's not that, you know, there's this all-powerful thing that's doing. This is people have influences. If people are in power, they have an influence. So just keep this in mind. When you look at the Quranic narrative, when the Quran is talking about Fir'aun and Namrud, and when the Quran is talking about the Quraysh and the situation in Medina, Allah is talking about the influence and the power that people have. It's about the Fir'aunic uh, model and how it operates, right? <coughs> and the thing is, is to know that they are not all powerful, okay? This is very, very important. And I'll give you a modern day example of that, okay? A modern day example is that, look at Taliban. This is a group of Muslims, right? Our problem is what? We're not organized. We're not, or that's, if we were organized, everything would sort itself out. If we had unity, you had a small group here, Right? Of of the of these 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 Taliban, but they destroy the Soviet Union, right? And then these Taliban, then they make uh, America give up, and now America has to go back. And the only victory Muslims have probably had in the last 150 years—that's a clear victory—is this victory that Taliban had. And that was so Taliban won Zionism, won against Zionism already, right? In their local area, so. The Taliban already won against uh, the, the forces that were, the whole world, basically, because when the NATO forces were there, it was basically the whole world, right? And so, we have to keep this in mind that, you know, they don't have exclusive power. Uh, yes, there is another element, and that is, يُحُونَ بَعْدَهُمْ عَلَىٰ The shayateen, they give wahi, inspiration. So some of these people, like, you know, George Bush Jr. used to have this, God told me to do this, and God told me to do this, right? God told me to do have the Iraq war. He literally said these words. So, you know, these people that have inspired, they feel like wahi is coming to them, and they do inspiration to one another, right? And so this is there. This is a fact. And the secret societies function as that platform from where they get that, uh, that wahi, you can say, to, from the shayateen, astaghfirullah. Okay? Uh, now, uh, another very important point that I want to end with uh, very quickly, but I want to end with this, is that how are people, for example, able to predict coronaviruses and so on and so forth from before, from the past? How are they able to predict this? How are they able to do this? 
Okay, and so I want to talk about that very quickly. And so the answer to that is that one of the two things happens. That is that because, because when there is conspiracies, it's, you have to play out a story. You have to put out a narrative. You have to put out a spin. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. I